Spring like almost feel this week, but the big hazard is definitely the fog in the mornings and a slow commute for a lot of people early today. We have potentially a repeat tomorrow morning. Now it might not be quite as bad. I'll show you why in a second, but we are talking about the potential for more reduced visibility, slow going on the roads, super fog possible in spots. So just do all your fog precautions, low beam headlights, lots of space ahead of you. And the main thing, slow down. It's going to take a while on the mornings, at least in spots this week. And I was pointing out we still have low visibility at the lakefront, a little spot of fog hanging on there, which we have seen happen before because again of those cooler waters. We do have clouds out there, our temperatures in the 70s. Look at downtown surging to 76 and Mandeville reporting 80 and Slidell almost there. But one thing I wanted to show you was look at the temperature. The air temperature at the lakefront is still stuck at 75 right next to those cooler lake waters and the dew point temperature is also at 65. That's where you get fog because what the dew point is, is the temperature at which the air becomes saturated with water and the water has to condense and form those clouds at the surface and that's fog. So that's why we're seeing the fog still at the lakefront where the temperature has obviously gotten stuck and not rebounding as quickly near those cool waters. So the National Weather Service did today extend the dense fog advisory past the usual 8 or 9 a.m. because normally our temperatures take off and that puts us out of the dew point range and that brings fog to an end. But today we did see it extended over bodies of water until noon. So we're not looking at that anymore, but look at this tomorrow. Our model is showing yet more dense fog with maybe some very low visibilities forming. So this is 5 a.m. tomorrow, 7 a.m. And we've been saying we really have the ingredients all week long every morning for at least some fog. Now it may change subtly day to day. Uh, or day to day, <laughs> but uh, we do have some things happening. But again, the ingredients are going to be there because of this increased moisture we've had with south winds from the Gulf. Now this morning we also had this surface boundary over us, and so sometimes that can just provide a place for moisture to kind of pool. And so that is part of why we saw so much fog this morning. Now tracking this little surface front, this really isn't that big a deal, but it is going to be moving to the north. And so that might uh, it looks like make fog a little less likely tomorrow morning, but fog is a little bit tricky because small things like that one boundary over us can really enhance or limit uh, fog depending on, you know, the day to day small changes. But it looks like our models picking up on the potential for fog tomorrow. Will it be quite as bad as this morning? Can't really say for sure just yet, but I would plan on the potential for fog and especially wake up in the morning and kind of check at WWL for our morning news where the fog is the densest. Today looks beautiful though. If you didn't have to deal with the fog, it's just a really nice spring like kind of afternoon. We're about 10 degrees higher than average for this point in mid October. Tonight, that cool, damp feel will be there, a lows in the 50s. And then we've been talking about the steady forecast this week with you can see high pressure here. And here is this next low forming up and you can see our models are kind of all over the place with this next system, but they do bring a surface front toward us. So we're talking about rain potential, maybe especially Friday. Some models have rain lingering with a few showers into Saturday and Sunday. Right now they really don't have a lot of rain though. They keep it to the northwest of us with some high rain totals around North Texas and spots out to the northwest of us. Uh, but for us, it looks like at least a chance of rain Friday, possibly lingering into Saturday and we'll see about Sunday. Right now it looks like we may just get some slightly cooler air in by the end of the weekend, but big heads up for that fog potential. Remember to stay with the forecast this week because we're going to be tracking it really closely each morning.